What's up gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm going to share with you three things that have shocked me about Warsaw, Poland. But before we do that, make sure to smash that like button. It costs you nothing, it means the world to me. It really helps me out with the algorithm. Now, first and foremost, I've got a question for you. Should I record videos like this or like this? Let me know now. With that said, let's get into the first thing that has shocked me about Poland. And that is going to be the insane value for money. Now, what I mean by value for money is obviously you feel like you're getting a lot of bang for your buck. Now, what this doesn't mean is it doesn't mean that it is cheap necessarily. So that is something to keep in mind not going to be the cheapest place but i do think there is a lot of value to be had here so for example last night what i did is i went to a michelin star restaurant got a dry aged ribeye steak got a couple glasses of wine and something else and it was about 50 us dollars or somewhere around there which in my opinion is really good value for money Especially because, like I said, Michelin star restaurant, all that good stuff. And then if you're going on dates or it doesn't really matter. If you're going to a decent mid-range restaurant kind of thing, probably going to be around $25 per person. Not going to be super expensive. And Warsaw, pretty clean, pretty modern city. And what I mean by that is... There are going to be metros all over the place. There are trains like the one you might be able to see right there. Um, the metro has that M you might be able to see. Oh, there's one right in front of me. Duh. And so if you are a public transportation kind of person, a lot of a connection there. Also extremely walkable and extremely safe. That probably goes without saying. And extremely well connected with like bikes and scooters and uh, other things like that. But I think you get the point. That's what I mean by a clean, modern city. And then next, what I would say is that... So next what I would say is the weather. The weather surprised me because... Last time I was here, oh, by the way, that reminds me, shocker, I've been here before, so most of the things didn't particularly shock me, but um, yeah, good for the video title, obviously, and if you haven't been here, these things would probably shock you. So, that in mind, weather. I feel like the weather completely changes the vibe of the entire city, because, I don't know, Sun's out, everyone's out having a good time, pretty, pretty friendly, and then obviously all the pretty girls are out, you know, enjoying the summer weather. No issues with that. So we're actually going to bob this way. Oh, we're going to miss it. Oh well, doesn't matter. So the weather. Now, this is kind of a pro and a con. Last time I was here was during, I don't know, January or something like that. Snow all over the place, everyone's inside, not a lot going on. And so, like I said, I feel like the weather changes the entire vibe of the city. The entire energy much, much different when it's not winter time. And most of the year, it's gonna be not the greatest weather. So that is something to be aware of if you are interested in coming here or moving here or what may have you. Probably only good for about four months of the year. Maybe a little bit more depending on your tolerance for weather and things like that. But it's a great place during summertime, during warm weather season. When it's not great weather, I feel like everyone's more depressed, everyone keeps to themselves, no one's really going out, no one's really enjoying the city. The vibe, like I said, completely different all around when it comes to the weather. 
Now, another thing that I would say is surprising is the amount of people who smoke, vape, or do, like, uh, zen pouches, if you know what those are, pretty much, like, tobacco pouches. It is absolutely insane. Also, they have this, like, tonic, tonic espresso stuff, which, not to my liking, but apparently is super popular here. Anyway... So, back on topic, as I was saying, tons of smoking and vaping and zen pouches going all around, and those aren't necessarily my favorite things to do. I don't enjoy those. I really don't even date women who do those kind of things, and um, just in general, it's something you may be interested in knowing because... Like, last night at the Michelin Star restaurant, I kept having smoke being blown in my face. And I absolutely hate the smell of smoke. And it seems like a lot of people here are constantly smoking. Then, actually, another thing that I would say didn't shock me, because once again, I've been here before, but may be applicable to you is how the people treat people of color. So, what I mean by that is, I think I might have a video on my channel about this eventually, but it seems like mainly the only people who may have a problem with it is the guys. And I'm not gonna get too deep into it, but what I'll say is I've met a couple different Polish girls and they told me that women so, I met a Polish girl who's 22. She said, uh, yeah, my friends, the people I know, they really don't care about race. More about your vibe, if you're respectful, all that good stuff. Standard stuff I talk about on my channel. Then, I talked to some other girls who were, you know, in that age range, between 22 and 26. And mind you, this is multiple women, not just one or two. And they said, uh, yeah, the older generation... They might have a little bit of issue with the colored folk and but the younger generation they don't really care and they were the ones who told me uh yeah um we don't like or we don't mind dating black guys we actually like black guys but the thing is the polish men not necessarily super accepting and they were getting into a little bit of their dating history and they're saying that the Polish men judge them for dating black guys so be aware of that and then I also got um what what should I say like a little insight on how they feel about Polish men which may be a reason um well we won't we won't get into that but there are some very um, discouraging, maybe, opinions on Polish win men from Polish women from the women that I have spoken to. Anyway, we're going to wrap up this video. So I will see you guys in the next video. And once again, remember to let me know if you like the video this style or if I should do it the other style, like so let me know let me know let me know all right so i will see you guys next time thank you for watching and as always peace much love